Aloha, this is Megan. I'm here at Body and Live Yoga in Maui, Hawaii, and today I'm here to bring you workout number one in our new Fire Starter Series. So, it's a brand new year. We're all excited. We're getting ready to bring new things into our routine, and we're really working on our intentions. What are we bringing into our daily lives? So we're gonna light a fire, we're gonna get started. We're gonna really work this year to stay on track with what we do wanna bring into our lives. So a resolution is that a resolve, it's an ending. So if you look at it from the perspective of an intention, what do you wanna start? What do you wanna bring in? You wanna bring in more vitality, more aliveness, your body feels good, your body feels strong, it feels supple, it feels mobile. So all of these things are really positive and beneficial things that we do want to continue. So they can be part of our New Year's intentions. So one of the things that's really super beneficial for having a healthy body and a healthy mind and a healthy lifestyle is cardiovascular exercise. So cardio. Long duration cardio is boring and it's actually outdated. It's shown to be not very effective. Really what we're doing now and what we're seeing is interval training. And if you combine it with the principles of yoga, we can have a really powerful mind-body movement exercise. So we get the benefits of the mind-body connection while we get the cardiovascular benefits. So it's win-win. So that's what this Fire Starter Series is all about, is moving with awareness, but really getting our heart rate elevated so we're getting cardiovascular benefits, strengthening this really key, important muscle that pumps blood, that pumps oxygen, that pumps nourishment, that eliminates waste. It is so important. Some might say it's probably the most important muscle in our whole body. Not to mention that when we're working it out, when we're doing cardio, we're working every other muscle in our whole body. When you do things mindfully, you bring it all together, you get a really powerful workout, and at the same time, you're really focusing on your breath and your breathing. Super essential for, again, oxygen, but really creating that awareness, that focused intention of mind-body connection. So we're gonna do a few exercises today. You can go through the sequence as many times as you would like. You can do it once to get your day started. You can do it once in the afternoon if you're feeling a little bit afternoon sluggish. You can do it and feel like you perk your body up. So we will get started. So we're gonna stand in our mountain position, coming up nice and tall, really standing strong, pressing into our feet, and we're just gonna lift opposite arm and leg. So notice as I do it, I maintain my mountain posture. So it's all about this baseline posture that keeps everything stable and neutral. So we lift opposite arm and leg. And we breathe. And we keep going, opposite arm and leg. Don't worry about the choreography. If you make a new movement up, let me know. I'd be happy to include it next week. It's not about the choreography. It's about moving your body and breathing. So keep going, warming up a little bit. And we go for five, four, three, two, one, and then stop. We're gonna step over to one end of our yoga mat, do a little dip. So you do a little squat and you're gonna shimmy. Doop, 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 doop. Over to the other side, little dip, come back up. And then shuffle to the other side, side to side. Side to side, from one end to the other. So I'm just shimmying side to side. So you can see that I can make it a little more challenging by coming down lower and maybe even adding a little squat at the end of the movement. And then up. So you don't have to do the jump. You can stay nice and low. You don't even have to pick your feet up. You can just shimmy and scoot across the floor. Okay, so we're going from side to side, doing a little, lateral movement to get warmed up and then we're going to come back to the middle after we do 20 we're going to stand back up come back to our mountain posture get nice and tall and then we're going to go to our knee drives you might remember these from the booty busting series they are awesome i love them so we're going to take our arms up and you're going to drive your back leg forward so you'll quickly realize it is not the moving leg that you're working, it's the one you're standing on. I like to visualize whatever I see as an obstruction or a block in my life. I grab it and I go boom and I smash it. So you're busting through these barriers. 20. And then you're going to stand all the way up. And then reach back again, all the way up. Reach, touch, reach, touch. I'm going to do 10 or 20 of these and then we're gonna to go to the other side. So we come up tall, we maintain our length as we tip over. So that even as I'm leaning over, I'm still nice and long. I have a rounded, I maintain my mountain quality to my spine, neutral quality, ready? I'm gonna smash through our barriers. The more you bend your standing leg, the harder it is. So keep that in mind. Add 
abs are tight and you're breathing, you're working hard. You're going to do 20 and then we're going to stop and send all the way up gracefully and reach and pull. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. So you're planting your foot down and reach and pull. So we're going to do 10 of those and then we're going to pause. We're going to do one more. So you're going to step out to the side and tap your foot behind. So it's a little, almost like a little curtsy. Step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. If you want, you can lift your arm up. So you don't need much space, only about a distance of a yoga mat. Reach, touch, step, touch, good. Going from side to side, definitely can hear, my heart rate is elevated, my breathing is quicker, and reach, you're gonna do 20, and then we're gonna stop. And then you can go right back into the first exercise again, if you want it. Or, if you're new to cardiovascular exercise, you can just take a little break. Because <laughs> it's good fun. It's definitely intense. So you want to stay within your range of being able to breathe throughout. We definitely want to push a little bit, but we keep it within a realm where we can still breathe. Right now, my heart rate is definitely elevated. You can hear by my breathing. It's not the same normal rhythmic pace as before, but that's okay. We're challenging ourselves. We're pushing the envelope a little bit. We're getting out of our comfort zone. We're busting through these barriers to help us light the fire of initiative and determination and resiliency and vitality and aliveness for the new year that is now upon us. Thank you so much for coming to check out our video. We'd love to see you in the studio soon. If you're curious about more of these yoga inspired cardio interval classes, come and check out Tone and Titan. They are Wednesday and Friday morning at 7.30. Super awesome, well-rounded workout. We never do the same thing twice, but you get really familiar with the movements so that you're feeling confident, safe, and you're getting great, amazing results in your body, but also in your mind. So we're really focused on the whole package, bringing your body to life, the whole collection of all the different aspects that make you up. So thank you for sharing your time with us, and check out, we're gonna have new videos soon. And please let us know if you have any questions, and we will see you very soon. Aloha. Namaste.